Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So we're here to answer the question whether this guy is worth pulling for, investing in. And a lot of skeptics out there are saying that he 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 requires a lot of conditions and everything. But let's let's put out all of the facts before we decide. Okay, no biases, nothing. Um, and uh, let's start with what he gives. So he is Galatea. He is a vanguard. So really a big hole in Galatea for vanguard. So doesn't mean you should get him. Probably yes, probably no. I'll actually have an announcement later whether I'm going to pull for him or not. So let's move on to his skill. So attack is Tiga Multi Chop. So attack speed is going to be fast. Boost the damage from basic attack. So level 2 and 3, you have a total of 40%. Okay. So for his ultimate, so initial energy, Zeperion Beam attacks the current target and switches basic attacks to Compound Fist for 5 seconds after the ultimate ends. So Compound Fist is dealing basic attack damage to the enemy three times so one single attack is dealt three times okay so upgrade effect which is actually i think key to understanding what he brings so level two is guaranteed crit chance on ignited targets and boost compound fist by 35 percent so for this to work targets should be ignited but when targets are ignited or burned or set on fire the crit chance is guaranteed every time he punches. Okay? So all you have to do is level up his crit damage. Because this is a guaranteed crit chance. Okay. My I'm gonna tell you guys if you do if targets are not ignited, there is still a chance that he will crit. Okay. It doesn't mean that if targets are not ignited, he won't ever crit. Okay, so there's also a chance depending on the crit chance that he has, uh, depending on your build. So again, I would suggest that you you think about this skill as something that is a plus, not really not really a deal breaker. Okay, so level three basic attacks have a thirty percent chance of triggering compound fist. So this one is also good because one basic attack can be times three. So that is it. Okay, next is his uh, passive is Tiga Multi Punch. Every five times basic attack deals damage. It immediately deals moderate damage to the target and adjacent enemies and heals the attacker by 42% of the damage dealt. The basic attack power boost and damage uh, boost the damage and healing. So upgrade effect boost passive damage by 50% and level three number of basic attacks required is minus one. So this will be down to four, which is a nice kit to have. And um, he's really built on his basic attack. And the last one is going to be uh, boost dodge chance by 50% restores health after each successful dodge timer flash so level 2 is boost basic attack 25 within 15 seconds of the battle then reduces it to 10% and boost attack speed by 10 level 3 is boost damage by damage chance by 20% okay my thoughts on this guy um even without his um his uh, exclusive badge and gear is he worth getting at this point um i'm saying is yes because apply ignite is not that hard actually especially if most of your team is composed with galatea units there are a lot of there are a lot of um what do you call this there are a lot of figures there who apply ignite so this is not really a deal breaker um, at this point, I'm inclined to get him. Take note of that. I just said that I'm going to summon for him because he fills a very big void in Galatea. And who knows when the next good collab is going to you know, arrive for, for Galatea. I know he is not the best collab unit that came out. So far, we have Miku, we have Rimuru, 
uh, and uh, his sister. We have the twins. They have been great. And him. But again, guys, those collabs are, are out of this world. And again, for Galatea, from what I see, collabs are being spread out within the three brands. So for Galatea, this is the second collab already for them. Uh, although the first one was um, was a defender and was okay. But for Ultraman, again, he feels a very big void in damage dealing. If you want to progress in, in content for Galatea, then I think you should get him. I don't think you should get you know go crazy in summoning for him you can actually get one copy of him and uh through the polls and the rest of him you can actually get here in the store so here you have to you have to you have to summon at least one copy before you can buy copies of him additional copies of him so again it's not really pressure whether you know whether you should go all out on him right now, but I would say um, to be safe, just get one copy of him. If you don't really, if you're really backing on um, having, you know, or if you're really thinking that there would be better figures in the future for Galatea, then just get one copy of him. Then stop. Secure one copy at least. But again, um, from what I see, his skills are not really a deal breaker. And, but he is not really a must pull. He is going to be your fill-in role right now for Vanguard. Just in case somebody more powerful than him comes along for Galatea. But right now, he really feels... He really needs to fill that void for Galatea for Vanguard. Again... He is not a must summon, but again, he is not that bad. In fact, he is he is he is above average in terms of the figures that we have. Probably I would classify him as a tier A for all that he's giving for a simple and effective kit that he has. Okay? So that is actually based on him alone not ex not including his uh his uh his adornment and his uh badge okay let's go to the event okay so we're here with the event that uh uh what do you call this that gives us adornment the exclusive adornment exclusive uh, badge so let's see the Okay, this is the adornment. So, enhance the ultimate when using compound fit fist deals additional 57% of attack as damage to the target and its adjacent enemies. Okay, this is additional 57%. This is big, but again, you don't need this at this point. Again, Ultraman is going to carry your team up until we can replace him. So... You don't need to invest in, in for example, if, if you can't reach the 100, it's okay. But if you can reach the 100, uh, not spending anything or not using your your fully wish, then this would be this would be good. Also here, I want to see his exclusive badge. So when using multi-punch, boost the power of the next ultimate by 5%. Then stacks up to five times and grants a shield of 101% attack. You don't really need this. Uh, for this, you can forego this. But if you can reach reach uh, 100 with um, without spending any fully wish, I don't know if it if it's doable. I don't think so. But again, this badge is an icing is a good icing but you don't really need this especially if you consider ultraman as somebody that can be good enough even without all of these but again they're not he's not going to be super powerful um what they call this um uh, he's not sorry he's not going to be um he's not going to be bad if he doesn't 
use this because he won't be super powerful even if he has this. Okay, that is what I mean. So, again, um, going back to Ultraman, going back to how he is, you know, how I may consider him. So, again, he's not a must pull, but definitely he is a big country, you know, he is a big um, boost to your damage or DPS for Galatea. You might not get another one. Another good vanguard, guys, at this point to deal that amount of DPS. And uh, with the guaranteed crit provided that he has ignite people around him is actually is actually a small kicker for, for him to initiate that. So again, he is not a must pull, but for me personally, I will pull for him. Um, depending on how many copies I get of him and depending on, you know, on what happens later, I will try to get as much as I can. Okay. So for, for, again, for the badges, for the adornment, don't use your fully wish there. Don't use them there. Just pull for him using your gems and, and your tickets if you want to and also if you again if you want to be conservative about it just pull one and don't pull anymore you could actually buy copies of him in the most store after the first pull so that is it so again guys um thank you very much for staying this far hopefully this helped and uh hopefully i can see, i can see you in the next video of mine which is the summon video for ultraman so thank you guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here